Okay, in this question we're just going to be matching each scenario on the left to some uh, an, the method of analysis on the right. Okay, so the first one says a polling organi organization surveys a thousand people and wants to know if the average number of hours is more than five hours a day. Okay, so um, so the test that we're going to calculate is going to be a one sample t-test for a population mean, right? Because uh, we just want to know the average number of hours. That's a, that's f that's some population mean that we want to know about, and there's just one sample. Okay, so that's B. Um, so in another survey, they want to determine the percentage of men who identify themselves as socially conservative is higher than the percentage of men of women who identify themselves as socially conservative. Okay, so there's men and there's women. So automatically we know it's one of the two sample tests. And this is a population mean, and this is a population proportion down here, right? So it's two sample for sure. Um, and we want to choose one of them, and we're going to choose proportions because this is the percentage of men and percentage of women. So answer there is F. I'm just going to clear this really quick. B and F. And number three says the polling organization surveys a thousand people in a large uh, community to see if the percentage of people living in mobile homes is more than 10%. Alright, so we're looking at a percentage, so, and there's only one body of people, right? It's just a thousand people, so it's just going to be E because it's a one sample uh, Z test for a population proportion, okay? Number four says we want to know the relationship between age and hours of uh, daily television viewing, where both age and hours of television viewing are continuous variables. So the only method we know to analyze that is a simple linear regression because both variables are continuous. The polling or, uh, number five says the polling organization pulls people um, on a regular basis to monitor changing confidence in the economy. There's a numerical index based on random sample people who were polled both in 2011 and again in 2012. So they're the same people. The organization assesses if the confidence has changed on average. Okay. So because we've basically paired, we have a paired sample, right? Because it's the same person in two different years. So the only um, the only way we can pair our sample is by taking a paired t-test for mean difference. Okay, um, so we're going to choose C. And finally, the polling organization connects a survey of adults between 30 and 50 to assess if there's an association between um, marital status and smoking status. So we want to know if there's an association between um, between two variable, two discrete variables. Okay. So we know that it's going to be a chi squared because there's two groups. Um, there's two group variables, right? Married, divorced, smoker, non-smoker, and we want to know if the two groups are associated, not whether they're the same or if. Uh, you know, uh, w which would be homogeneity, and it's not a goodness of fit because we don't have a, a, a null model to evaluate, right? So it's going to be H.